Hey guys, we're here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and cut one of the very first breads that Santa cooked today. We're gonna slice it uh, in a couple of different ways and, and taste it and see how it is. Hey everybody, Arnie Tex here, and today we're at the T and S Ranch in Edinburgh, Texas, with Tony and Sandra Garza of the Iron Horse Cooking Team. Sandra's going to be walking us through her award-winning pan de campo, the official state of Texas bread. Tony's going to be stewing up some carne guisada, and I'm going to be on the parrilla today, cooking up some real Texas flavors with some pork steaks, some agujas, and some chicken and sausage. Sandra, you've been cooking pan de campo for a long time, obviously. Uh... What is it about pan de campo that, that you like? Uh, why do you do it? I do it because it makes me happy when people ask me, hey, can I have your pan de campo? I just love it. And it just puts a smile on their face. And you know, it just makes me happy that they enjoy eating that bread. You know, and I love doing it. I, I don't mind being in front of the fire. I don't mind, I don't mind doing it in so many breads. It just, I, I just enjoy doing it. Now I've heard of some blasphemy where some people actually put jelly on their pan de campo. Have you ever heard of that? Yeah, I, uh, yeah. you? No. <laughs> you saw my picture? Oh, man. <laughs> Actually, yes. I, I, I like to say with pan de campo, it's like barbecue. There's really no right way or wrong way. Right. You know, whatever way you happen to like it, that's the right way. Mm -hmm. You know, if it, if it makes you and your family happy, that's the right way. Mm -hmm. What are some of the ingredients that go into the pan de campo that makes it so good? Well, yeah, it's a little bit of the flour, the sugar, the salt. And some people use milk, some use buttermilk, some just use water. And uh, some use uh, Crisco oil or baking powder. It's really, I can give you the recipe and I can tell you exactly what I do, but it's gonna come out different. It's really in your hands, it's how you can give me your recipe too, and it's not going to come out the same. <laughs> hey, you know, Sandra, I picked up this uh, dough, and, and it feels a little bit sticky, so what do I do now? You can go ahead and grab some uh, some flour and okay. put some on the top and the bottom. So I, I'm going to go ahead and knead this. Thing. Yes. Okay, great. So do you feel the difference once you put the, oh, yeah. the, yeah. the, the flour? Oh, yeah, I can tell now. It feels yeah. different like that. Okay, you can go ahead and just press it down and until you can kind of get it even. I can feel it yeah. kind of firming up a little bit. More, you know, more at the edges, yes. Go ahead and, and, and add some a little bit of uh, flour to it. Okay, so here we go, folks. I'm gonna try to roll this thing out. Try to make it look round like Sandra's uh, bread. And you, you can use the, the middle part too, so you can mm -hmm. kind of put pressure on it. Oh, so, yeah, like that? Yes. Now there's a lot of heat here. Ooh, man, I can feel that radiant heat big time. Might even be a good idea to wear a couple of gloves. Go now ahead and just put some uh, butter and just put it around right, we'll it. Put a little bit of butter in here to keep it round. Right. Keep it round. Gotta keep it round. Let's see if it spins. Oh yeah, very nice. Perfect heat sander. Perfect. There you go. <laughs> Part of the deal is you need to flip the bread so you can char the top just a little bit and it adds a little bit more flavor. So I'm gonna try to do it without burning my fingers off. Here we go. <laughs> Woo! You want to share a story with us, one of your pan de campo stories? I know we all have all kinds of adventures, I call them, and stories. Let me say something. Me. Cooking all over the cook-off, and of course, you know, she does the pan de campo, you know, most of it. You know, I take care of the fire and so forth. I remember one cook-off we were doing, I was also doing some other uh, jackpot categories, and someone had to go to the cook's meeting. So I told her, <laughs> because it looked yes. easy to me, you yes. go to the cook's meeting and I'll babysit the pan de campo. Well, she took off to the cook's meeting, and I had the worst time trying to flip that pan de campo. I burned my fingers out how many times. I kept five <laughs> waiting, I couldn't get it to flip. She showed back up. It was time to turn it in. And she finally flipped it and seen the bottom of it was all burnt. Needless to say, to make it short, by the time the day was over, we figured out what to do. She came in, fixed it, got some other fun going and stuff at the last minute. And of course, you know, like always, she came in and got first place. That's, yeah, one of, that, that's one of those stories that I call a make it work situation. So what like, are some other ways that, that other people uh, eat bread uh, that you know of? With, you know, with just carne guisada and chili. All people just love it. You know, okay. we've gone together here at home so many times. You know, our daughters have asked us, you know, my sisters, everybody, like, when are you going to make chili and pan de campo? And they just love eating it so together. They really well together. Yes, very well together. And one of the things that I really, really love about 
outdoor cooking, whether it's barbecue or Dutch oven, pan de campo, uh, cabrito, whatever it happens to be. There's something about cooking that just draws people together, right? It just uh, brings yes. family, it brings friends yes. together, guys. That's one of my favorite things about outdoor cooking, that it brings people together. So we hope that what we share with you guys will help you bring people together and maybe someday, you know, we'll get to eat some bread together. All right, guys, thank you uh, for watching. Uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. We're going to eat some more of this good food here that we made today. We want to say a really, really big thank you to Tony and Sandra for opening up their home and, and being willing to share some of their secrets and some of their techniques for making some really awesome pan de campo and some really good carne guisada. Guys, thank mm. you so, so much. We really, really do appreciate it. Thank you for watching again. Keep the smoke light. Make it work.